Hi, this is Olivier at Lingoport. Today, I would like to present how to onboard a localizer project. What we have here is a repository called Lingoport Public Acme, and the branch is translation. In that branch, under standard, there are different file formats for Android, iOS, JSON properties, ResX, and so on. What we're going to do today is just onboard something that's for JSON files. So now that we know that, we need a way to access this repository from within command center. We know that there are JSON files. We know that there are EN for the source locale and then FR for French, and we will add a couple more for uh, the target locales. So let's go on command center. In command center is here. I have already a few repositories and branches that are there. I'm going to add a project to this list. I'm going to choose an account that has access to the Acme um, repository. This one does, so I'll click Next. I'm going, I need to have the repository URL. So which repository? Here you can see that it's translated. It's uh, Lingoport Public Acme. It's this one, and the branch is translation. So I'm just going to copy that over here, and the branch is translation. Next, there is by default the name and of the project is set up. So Lingoport Public Acme translation corresponds to Lingoport Public Acme translation. However, if you decide to change that, you certainly can. And and have removed the module name or have a demo or something else. I'm going to leave it as translation for now. And I'm going to add a tag. One of the tags is going to be demo, and another tag is going to be JSON, because there are JSON files that are here. I have, uh, I can run globalizer or localizer here. We are onboarding the localizer project. So that localizer project here, I'm going to click next. And now I need to pick which TMS or machine translation to go to. I'm just going to click uh, Product Enterprise for Lingoport here. So if you remember, the locale code for the source locale is EN. It's not ENUS. And we can check that here quickly here. Messages underscore EN.json. I'm going to add uh, French here, and uh, the French that I want is the French from France. So I'm going to just click here. And again, it's a two letter code that I want, not this. And I'm going to add Japanese. There we go. And again, I just want a two letter code as per what developers want, not what the person who wants to translate, but what developers want. I'm going to click next here. So I've decided on my locales. I have two locales in terms of the translation uh, locale targets. And now I need to add resource files. So we're looking at JSON files here. This is for JSON files. And they're not just called enus.json files, which happens for some uh, implementations. There is a file name underscore en.json. So a file name underscore the locale.json. So I'm going to look for that here. File name underscore the locale.json. The locale here is shown with enus, but it's really en that's going to be taken into account. I'm going to click next. And then uh, where am I going to find those? Are there many different repositories that have those and so on? I'm just going to restrict it to standard. That's all I'm going to do. But uh, you could add as many include patterns as you want. Standard, next. Those typically uh, you don't need to change, but maybe you want to use a post import script or a special GitHub import message or some other things. If you just want to onboard, you just click next. This, this is kind of advanced. And at this point, uh, to confirm the, conf the localizer configuration, you are checking that this is the file or files that you want translated into those files, into messagesfr.json and messagesj.json. Finally, who is going to be accessing this project? Maybe Lily and Linda are going to be accessing this project. The CC admin will always get that. If you want them to access and receive notification messages, you leave that checked in. If you don't want Lily to receive notification messages, you uncheck that box. 
And now you can just click the button to create the project. So now that we've created a project, if you remember, it had a demo tag. And here is the project created with the name uh, that was associated with it by default, Lingo Word Public, Acme Translation, and the tags demo and JSON. So we can analyze the project at any point in time. If new uh, files or new strings have been added to that project, just click Run, and uh, it's already done. You can check uh, how well translated it is at this time. And at that point, you have onboarded this project. So going over uh, what you're seeing here, it says that the source locale is the end. There are two target locales. There's no trackback, pseudo, or context locale. There are 16 words, six keys, or six strings if you want, and one resource file. It is going to go to the Lingo for Trados Enterprise uh, TMS. Nothing has been received from that TMS yet. There's nothing that's outstanding. Uh, everything is fine. There are also no developer errors, meaning uh, everything can be sent for translation. There is no translator error, and that's uh, since no kits have been received, that's normal. There's no informational issue also. This report here shows you for each one of the locale, what is the percent complete? How many words have been translated out of the total number of words? Are there any words that are being translated at the moment? And are there any unsent work for that locale? You notice that in between Japanese and French, it's different. And there are 16 words that need to be sent, or all the words that need to be sent for Japanese here. If you want this translation to happen now, you click this button here. When you click that button, the project will be created automatically in uh, this Trados Enterprise, in this TMS, and translation can happen. Later on, when the transition happens, it will automatically be retrieved and validated and pushed back to the repository if everything is fine. Thank you.